Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Amy if you're new here. Today's video is a continuation of the series we call Influencer Week. And I mean we is me and my friend Kat L. We started this tag ongoing for this whole week. If you haven't watched our first videos yet, please go back to our Monday video and check it out. I will also have it linked below. But today we are going to concentrate on anything luxury that we got influence and that we are interested in buying so we may be buying we are almost tipping over like i said earlier i'm collaborating with my friend this whole week cat l so please after you watch this video go check her out i'm gonna have hers link below it's funny because i feel like this list is a lot similar to my revised wish list but it doesn't matter because we can still talk about who influenced us about it so the first item that i wanted to mention is the trendy cc and it's been around for a while it's in lambskin which is a thing that really scares me about this bag so I'm not super sure but the more I see it especially this year oh my gosh I've seen Lydia Millen unboxed hers Victoria from in the fro even Kat herself she had this bag a long time ago but she sold it I know that's one of her biggest regrets so <laughs> Um, but anyway, this bag is definitely on my radar this year. I wanted to check it out right before the quarantine happened. I even asked my essay. Unfortunately, they were already sold out. The influencer that really, really took me over and really got me over the edge of really wanting it is Claire. Her collection is amazing. She has beautiful Chanel and Hermes bags and her Chanel collection is to die for. So I think she's been raving about the trendy CC for a long time and in fact she probably is the one who got everybody hooked. I don't think she had a dedicated review on the trendy CC but she definitely talked about the bag a lot in her collection videos so definitely check her out. The second bag that I wanted to mention is also influenced by the same person Claire Chanel and it is a classic flap in a beautiful dove gray color. Oh my goodness, I just want one in a small size or maybe medium large, depending. It just depends on what's out, what's gonna be out in the in the future when Chanel comes back with another beautiful gray color. Uh, I want it in caviar for sure. I mean, I'm okay with the trendy CC being a non-skin because that's the only offering, but for a classic flap that is close to my body with no top handle, I prefer caviar. Before, I was never really considering adding a classic flap in my collection just because they're astronomically expensive. I don't even know if it's really worth the money anymore. Just add a few more thousand, you can get an LMS bag. Obviously, that's another topic alone as well because Hermes bags are not really readily available we all know that but like I said I never considered the classic flop before I mean I liked it I always liked it but she really tipped me over again with her collection videos the third bag that I want to mention again is from the same person I feel like she's she's really at fault here and it is the Lady Dior Claire is the one that owns the small size in the gray color she also owns it in a pink color I believe and oh my gosh it's just so beautiful I think another influencer her name's Emma Emma Anders Emma said in one of her videos the mini size is just one of those where yes it's a struggle to fit your phone in it but it's just one of those bags where she loves grabbing and it's just the perfect nighttime bag and it still fits enough it's just a little tight, right? And phones always change, right? Phone sizes always change. So right now, the largest phone size, I think, I believe, I believe it still fits depending on the case that you have. Uh, but anyway, regardless, the Lady Dior has been on and off. I just haven't been able to take the plunge yet just because there was always a Chanel bag that I want instead or a Louis Vuitton bag instead or something else instead. It's just always one of those things where, you know, the price point is so close to a Chanel bag. And of course, you guys already know, I bought a lot of Chanel last year and no regrets, obviously. But it's just one of those things where I'm back and forth, back and forth. The next bag I want to mention is also a Dior bag and it is the Tante Montaigne. This bag is also one of those heavily marketed, gifted to top influencers. And I have nothing against that. Honestly, I really don't. Similar to the Lady Dior, it's one of those bags, again, it's like in that price range where it's like, it's kind of like, do you go for it or do you buy, you know, for sure something that you know you love? like a brand that you're super loyal to especially in the dark against the gold hardware i think it's just sublime melissa has it in the smooth black calf skin with gold hardware and maria has it in this beautiful crinkled blue lamb skin in gold hardware both of them are 
beautiful. I honestly would take any of them. It just depends on when I see it in person. Yeah, this this is a bag that it's it's not really on and off. It's just one of those where I wasn't quite considering at first when it first came out. I, I liked it, but it wasn't like, you know, I must get it type of thing. But after I saw these two ladies get it, especially in those combos, those contrasting leather hardware combo, I'm like, oh my gosh, it, it's tipping me over. It's definitely tipping me over. And last but not least, it is an Hermes Birkin 25, especially in the color Rose Bourbon. This is heavily influenced by Tamara. When she unboxed hers in the size 25 in that beautiful fuchsia pink color, it's just like, oh my gosh, it's my dream. I saw it, I'm like, okay, this is the Hermes bag that I want. Because before, I never really thought that I needed an Hermes bag in my life. I mean, I appreciate them. I definitely appreciate the craftsmanship, the history, uh, especially the quality because they're definitely known for their quality. Uh, they're also very known for, you know, how how you end up getting one is by playing the game, which is uh, not something that I'm very thrilled about. I think a lot of people are not thrilled about. Especially for a bag of this price point in a vibrant color, it's not something that I ever considered before. But when I saw that color and that size, I just knew, I just knew that it's... It would be that one. Like, it would be... If, if this color is seasonal, which I think is, it is, uh, and I'm, I'm not able to get the exact same one it would be something similar to that it has to be around that kind of vibe um, if, if I were to get one in that size especially um, because I think the 25 would be the ideal size for me I think I'm open to the 30 I, I heard arguments about the 30 versus the 25 but honestly I think I really like the 25 I just think that it suits my stature and I really don't bring that much around anyway when I was planning this video which was two weeks ago I I wrote down a six item which is the Louis Vuitton multi pochette accessoire. If you've watched my first video, you will know what happened. And if you don't know what happened, you can go back and watch my video. This is my whole list of tipping me over might be buying them handbag list. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Like I said before, if you are mentioned in this video consider yourself tagged if you want to do this video and of course if you're watching this video and you have a channel or even if you just have ig and you want to dm me and let me know uh, just do this video and just tag me or let me know so that i can watch it that's it for today short and sweet if you're brand new to my channel i would love to have you back so please do consider subscribing especially if you've been loving my content or if you love content like this please give me a thumbs up it really really helps us out and i really appreciate it. Of course, if you have not checked out Kat's video yet, please go ahead and check her video out. I'm gonna have hers linked down below and have a great day or week ahead of you. I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye guys!